Hey everyone, so welcome to my third makeup tutorial. Um, so the look I did today was kind of like a glam look again, but this time it's a bit more intense glam. It's got emphasis on like a winged eye look, um, and I think you can wear it to just any event really. Um, so please comment below your suggestions, what you think of the look, and what you'd want me to film next. Um, and yeah, so please don't forget forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, and so yeah, let me just know what you'd want me to film next. Thanks for watching. So I'm first just starting off using the MAC strobing cream and it's just the original one. And I'm just massaging it all over into all over my face and I've already applied moisturizer before doing this step. Then using my Too Faced Born This Way foundation, I'm just starting this foundation all over my face and I've used just one pump of this foundation to start off with. And today I'm using the Real Techniques Expert face brush. I like using this brush when I want a more full coverage finish because the bristles are densely packed together in this brush so it gives you a more flawless finish with higher coverage. So I'm just spreading it all over my face to start with and then you'll see I use a round buffing technique. So I'm just picking up some more product here and applying that and then I'll just go around in small circles to really buff it into the skin and give a natural finish. And I'll blend this in for a really really long time so I've edited it out otherwise it's video would literally be one hour long so all I do is just keep going in small round circles all over my face then I've just applied my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Creamy Beige under my eyes as always and I like using this concealer because it's got an orangey tint to it so although it's quite brightening it doesn't give an ashy look to my under eyes Next I'm going in with a matte Pro Wear Concealer in the shade NC30 and I'm just applying that with quite a heavy hand just all over the highlighting areas on my face and you can see in a little while I'll be drawing lines quite close to the sides of my nose and this will make the nose look even slimmer, kind of like a reverse contouring effect as you can see. I'm also shaping out with concealer just underneath of my brows just to make it have a clean and a sharp look. I'm also applying it all over my lid area. I also applied any of the leftover product I had onto my brush just under my cheekbone just to again have like a reverse highlighting, sorry, a reverse contouring effect. In using my Laura Mercier Cream Contour Kit, which is really nice because it's very, very creamy so it's easy to blend. First I'm using the shade one, which is the lightest shade and it's best for contouring because it's got the grey undertone to it and I'm just applying it under my lips to make it look fuller and I'm of course applying it just under my nose to give it a more turned up look and of course along the sides of the, sides of the nose as well just to give it a slimming down effect and then I'm just applying it to both my cheekbones um, yeah. then I'm applying some of the product just under my jawline to just give a slimming effect and I just think it kind of ties the whole look together and then I'm also going on to my forehead to, I don't think I really have a big forehead but I think it just adds to the look so I just put some there anyway just to make it look more bronzed I guess. And then I'm using shade number two and just, which is a darker shade, slightly darker, it's about one or two shades darker and I'm just applying that just above the cheekbones to give more emphasis um, and just give a more exaggerated contouring look and I of course drag that under my neck as well. And now I'm just putting it above my lip for some lip contouring, again to make the lips look fuller. And just along the jawline again for a slimming down effect. And then I'm using my Beauty Blender to blend out the highlighting areas first. Then I'm using my Eco Tools Duo Fibre Buffing Brush. I'll include all the links to, sorry, I'll include in the description box all the brushes and the makeup that I'm using. Um, so I'm just using that to lightly blend in all of the contour work that I've just done. And I'm not sure if you can tell, but I'm using a very light hand to make sure I don't overblend all of the product away from my face. And I'm just doing circular motions to do this. And 
And now I'm going back to blend out my under eyes and the reason I left it longer to blend out is because the longer that you keep the concealer under your eyes, I find the more full coverage that you get because you're letting the product sit on your skin. So I always like to let it sit for a minute and then blend it up. And now I'm just blending out my nose contour again with the same mini beauty blender. Using my Laura Mercier translucent powder, I'm just packing this powder under my under eyes, but I'm not actually baking, I'm just pushing the powder into my skin. And I find that this lasts for literally all day and night because you make all just not budge really locked in with this powder. So I'm just really pushing the powder into my skin and then just not actually brushing it off. Then just baking under my cheekbones with the banana powder. I was trying to get the product to focus but it didn't but now I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Soft Brown and I'm just lightly filling in my eyebrows. I'm not really changing the shape of them, I'll just draw a straight line underneath just to give it a clean look and then just fill in any sparse areas. Then to get the winged out effect for this eye makeup look, I'm using just any old card um, and just using that to outline my wing shape. So I'm just using a very creamy eyeshadow pencil and I'm just using the card as a stencil to do that. Then I'm just using a fluffy eyeshadow blending brush to blend out all of that eyeshadow pencil that I've just put on. And I'm just working it literally all over the lid, especially going in circular motions just to blend it out and get rid of the harsh line. So now I'm just going in and cleaning it up the shape of the eye with a concealer. And I just keep repeating this step of blending out the eyeshadow and then cleaning up the shape of the eye with the concealer until you get the desired effect. And now using the shade Buck from the original Naked palette by Urban Decay, which is just a brown, medium toned brown shade, I'm just going all over the lid, literally exactly where I've already placed the eyeshadow pencil, I'm just going over that with a eyeshadow just to kind of set it and also just blend it out even more. And I'm also taking that same shade under the eye and then just using a gel eyeliner inside my eyes and also tight lining. And then using that same gel eyeliner, I'm just gonna do a wing for my eyes and I'm starting off very thin and then I'm building up gradually. And then using my liquid eyeliner, I'm going over this gel just to intensify it because I find this makes the eyeliner look a lot more black and a lot more intense. Then I'm just wiping away the bake with a Dewy Farber face brush and then I'm just setting the rest of my face with my face powder. Now I'm using the very intense MUA highlighter. Check the description box for the exact name, but it's very intense. I think it's called the Undress Your Skin and it's only one pound. And I'm layering this highlighter on top with another one, which is the NARS Albatross, which is this one that I'm applying right here. And this gave a very intense golden effect. Now I'm just contouring with the Bahama Mama Bronzer by The Balm, as always. And you can see I'm using a patting technique, so I don't want to move the foundation or any of the makeup underneath too much. So I'm just kind of patting it in and then lightly blending. Now I'm taking that same bronzer underneath my lips again just to emphasise the bottom lip to make it look fuller and also contouring the nose just by going down the sides with this angled brush. And now I'm just blending all out with my MAC 130 Duo Fibre Blending Brush and it's just a clean brush so it does a good job at just blending out all the harsh lines. 
And now I'm just using my NYC Sunny Bronzer and I'm just using this bronzer basically all over my face just to give an overall bronzy glow. And now I'm mixing these two blushes from my NARS palette and just applying those on my cheeks. One is a shimmery and one is a matte blush and they're both very similar shades, both a mauve shade. Now using a matte black shade from my sleek eyeshadow palette, I'm just applying this over the eyeliner that I've already done just to intensify the look even further. So I'm just blending it above the eyeliner. And now I'm blending that eyeshadow out with a small but still a fluffy brush. Now just setting the eyebrows in place with my brow gel. Now I'm just prepping my eyelashes for the false eyelashes with just one coat of mascara. And while the mascara dries, I'm just quickly going to do my lips with the Rimmel lip liner and then just filling it in with the lipstick. So this is when I realised I just got eyelash glue all over my hair. <laughs> so for the final step, I'm just spraying my face with the Urban Decay setting spray. So thanks so much for watching this video guys, I really enjoyed making it and let me know more of what you want to see. And please comment below any suggestions and let me know if you did enjoy this video. See you next time.